the Tuakana Tena situation for me is special because the Tuakana shares what they've learned, but they also get the perspective and the knowledge from the Tena. So it's that sort of mutual respect where, yes, there's a high and a low position, but it's also a little bit more equal in terms of what's learned and how information moves around. The tutors, some of them were from Samoa and I knew them from Samoa. So it just felt, it felt like I already knew this person. I could go to them and always ask for help. So it pretty much was like an older sibling. I'd always go, if I needed help, I'd be like, hey, can you please, please help me? I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing, I need help. So it was, that, that's what I felt like. It was always just a connection with these people that I already knew. It just gave me all these friends and like, like older siblings to tell me, oh, what are you doing? I got to meet like uh, really good friends that I'm still close with to this day. I just feel like we're all siblings in a way, like, yeah. cause like the way that we banter and like talk yeah. to one yeah. another, it's very like sibling vibe. Mm. Yeah. And then there's like older, yeah, older yeah, ones, older, and then, siblings. then there's the young like baby ones, which are the people that, yeah, we help. Yeah. Mm -mm. I feel like it's just like a big family atmosphere. It's, it's like older siblings and younger siblings, the older ones helping out for the younger ones with what they need. It's not just like a lecturer student, it's more like a brother, sister, there's an auntie type of relationship. And I think that helps a lot with our education also. Either you are helping someone in a younger year or someone older can help advise you. I think it's a really good support system and network. I suppose the dynamic has definitely shifted between us, like now Valu has gone from being, well, first of all, I think I actually met you and you, and you weren't my Tuakana, you were just, he, Valu was a, a face that I saw all the time in Tuakana. And then he became my Tuakana and then um, now he works as like overseeing the Tuakana, like all of us as mentors. So the dynamic, it's kind of like full circles over and over again, where people go from being Taina, you know, I was the Taina once and then you become the Tuakana and then even higher than that, you become the person who oversees all of the Tuakana. I have been lucky enough to be the Tuakana for Taina, who are now Tuakana themselves. So it's just like also really humbling, like so many full circle moments within the tour kind of space that's really rewarding to see. I guess I feel really humbled by the fact that I can support a person and that they see great value in what I have to say. That's like a feeling I've never experienced before, seeing someone else succeed and yeah, being really happy for them. One of the things that I'm most proud of is seeing um, my Taina sort of go on and graduate and now be out in the um, working world, working for Big Four, um, doing their own businesses. It's just cool to see them from the start of their journey um, going all the way through and now making a difference in the world. Just works on being like a mentor figure for people, someone that the younger generation can relate to and like they want to push towards. A lot of the mentors involved with the program, people who I've had the privilege of like being a tool kind of for, so it's really good sort of seeing that reciprocity in the so called of like the progression of being a Taina and being a Tuakana. It's very just family oriented. Everything I know about being a Tuakana is what I've learned and what I've been shown um, from Tuakana that I've had.